Orders and Fills widget helps you monitor and manage your working orders and fills by combining the features and functionality of the order book, fills, and position widgets into a single widget. In this video, we will give you an overview of the Orders and Fill widget's display and functionality, show you how to confirm orders, and show you how to view and export a summary of your filled orders to share with your customers. When we open the Orders and Fills widget from the Widgets menu, we see that the widget is made up of three distinct panes, the Order pane, the Fills pane, and the Positions pane. The Orders pane allows us to view and manage our working orders. By placing a check on the row for the order we want to modify, we can cancel or change the order, place the order on hold, and even apply algos to the order. We can also view the details and historical activity of an order. In the Fills pane, we can view fills using summary and detail views. In the Positions pane, we can view positions for all fills displayed in the Fills pane, giving us a snapshot of the related positions in PNL. By default, the Orders and Fills widget displays fills and calculates positions for all of our orders. However, we can choose to view fills and positions for a subset of our orders by filtering our orders pane using the eyeball buttons in the watch column. We start by clicking the eyeball button at the top of the column, and then simply click the eyeball button for each order we would like to include in the fills and position panes. Additionally, we can use the column filters in the orders pane to add or remove orders from our summary, for example, by exchange. The orders and fills widget allows brokers to communicate order activity back to our customers. Our fills pane allows us to organize this information in a number of different ways, including all filled details or a summary by price or by order. For this example, we will use the summary view of the fills pane as our customer is only interested in the total number of fills at each price. To help keep track of which individual fills have been confirmed with our customer, we can use the confirm column in the fills pane. We start by right-clicking in the fills pane and then select the edit columns. We scroll to the confirmed column, select it, and click OK. We can then arrange our columns by dragging and dropping. Now, when we confirm a fill, we can click Confirm, and as you can see, the fill reads Confirmed. We can also filter the column to only show fills that have not been confirmed yet. The Orders and Fills widget also makes it easy to provide an end-of-day report to our clients by letting us export activity for a certain account. Let's start by filtering the Orders pane to only display orders for a particular account. We can either use the Filter drop-down menu, or we can use a quick filter by double-clicking on the desired account in the Accounts column. We'll also clear the Watch column so that all fills are included. We now see that our Fills pane is only displaying fills for this account. Now we are ready to send this information to our client. We can either click Copy and then paste the summary in an email or text file, or we can click and drag all rows, right-click, and select Export Rows to export the summary as a CSV file that we can send to our customers. As you can see, the Orders and Fills widget combines the order book, fills, and positions functionality into a single widget, allowing us to view a summary of order activity as well as share this information with our clients. For more information about the Orders and Fills widget, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.